Hello everyone. So welcome you all. Uh, this is Pawan. So in this video, uh, we are going to learn about uh, integration testing. So this is a uh, one of the level of uh, software testing we discussed about uh, earlier: unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and uh, UAT testing. So this uh, video will more uh, more focus on uh, integration testing. So what is integration testing? And uh, we are going to see why do integration testing required and uh, how we can write integration test cases and uh, what are the different approaches uh, we have uh, to perform integration testing and what is the testing procedure and uh, how to write an integration test plan so these are the topics which we are going to see in this video now let us start with uh, what is integration testing <laughs> so integration testing is uh, basically individual uh, testing individual software modules or integrated logical and tested as a group so for example uh, developer uh, develop the software in the form of module so for example the multiple developers are working on multiple parcel multiple sub modules right so once they have implemented these sub modules they will integrate it as a single module this is a called as a main module right so we need to test this module or we can also test the uh, we need to, we can also test uh, we can also perform the integration testing between these three uh, modules so for example this is a module 1 this is a module 2 and this is module 3 so the input we can provide something here and the outcome of this particular module again become input for the next module again the outcome of this module is becomes input for this module so in integration testing the main focusing on the communication how these modules are communicating each other how they are integrated each other so that's the main aspect of integration testing so integration testing focuses on checking data communication among these modules and uh, this comes under the white box testing technique because uh, we need also know code sometimes right so this is comes under the white box testing technique and normally this testing is conducted by the developers if it is a code level and uh, there are two approaches we have like top down approach bottom approach we will follow to perform integration testing and uh, let us discuss a few more things about here uh, so as i said integration testing mainly focusing on checking the data communication among uh, multiple modules so hence it is also termed as uh, i and t like i and t integration and testing so this is also called as string testing and sometimes this is also called as a thread uh, thread testing okay so now let us see why do we need uh, integration testing why it is required integration testing so uh, although each software module is a unit tested so because before uh, starting integration testing we do unit testing so even though if you do the unit testing in each and every module defects still exist uh, for different reasons so for example uh, a module in general uh, is designed by an individual software developer whose understanding and programming logic may differ from other programmers. So integration testing becomes necessary to verify the software modules work in unity. So at the time of module development, uh, there are wide chances of change in requirements so by the clients. So these new requirements may not be unit tested and hence system integration testing becomes necessary. Okay. And sometimes like uh, interfaces of the software modules with the database could be uh, not correct or sometimes like external hardware interfaces or if any or also could be not correct so these are the various uh, reasons uh, that's the reason uh, we uh, perform integration testing on the software so next we'll see uh, integration uh, test case so normally integration test case seems like this integration test case uh, it differ from other test cases uh, in the sense it focus mainly on the interfaces and the flow of data information between the modules uh, here uh, the priority okay so we always have the priority right so here the priority is to be given for the integrating links uh, rather than the unit functions which are already tested so here uh, normally the sample integration test cases for the uh, that particular scenario here I have given a small scenario okay, let me just go through this Okay, I have mentioned small or uh, two test cases here for small uh, login or mail scenario. So let us uh, see how we can write an integration test case here. 
So in this scenario, application, let's say application is having uh, three different modules. Let us say I have a login module and I have a mailbox. This is another module and I have another mo uh, module called as a delete mails. Okay, delete mail. So this is another module. Let us assume I have three different modules. Say, so each and each of them are integrated logically. So until unless we do login, we cannot verify mailbox, and until unless we have a mailbox, we cannot delete the email. So these are independent uh, modules. So here we don't concentrate much on login page testing as it's already been done as part of unit testing. So but check how it is linked to the mail uh, mailbox page. So that's the main focus here. So if I see the test cases here. Right, uh, check the interface link between the login and mail module. Okay, this is the main objective of the test case. And enter login credential and click the login button. And what should be expect expected now? It should be directed to the mailbox. So that's our expectation here. So here we are mainly focusing on integration of these two modules. And similarly, if I see the second test case, uh, check the interface link between the mailbox and delete emails module. So we are checking the communication between these two modules. So for example, from the mailbox, select an email. Suppose mailbox contains multiple emails. If I select one of these email and click the delete button here, that should be deleted. So what is our expected result here? So selected email should appear in the should not uh, should appear in the deleted or trash folder. That means it should not be part of an inbox. Okay, so here. We are not mainly focusing on testing this functionality. We are focusing on how these are communicating internally. So that is the main uh, uh, intention of integration testing. This is a, one of the simple example for uh, unit test, uh, integration test case. Now let's see uh, what are the different approaches or methodologies or strategies of integration testing. So here uh, we use a, a new concept called as a stubs and drivers. Okay, so bottom up integration and top down integration are the actual methodologies and in these methodologies we sometimes we use sub steps and drivers so let us see what was what are those steps and drivers so here uh, step is nothing but uh, is a, a module uh, under test okay so for example if i say step here what is step here step is called by the module under test so for example there is a module this is your module this module will call this particular stub to perform certain action. Okay, and there is a driver. So what is a driver? Driver calls the module to be tested. So the driver calls this module. So what is the relation between here? Module calls the stub and driver calls the module. Okay, this is the integration. But here, stub and drivers are temporary programs. Okay, so let me just give you one example. So here, there is a... Uh, scenario like this so for example here also there is a module let's say this is a first module this is a second module and this is a third module now here i have completed this mo first module and third module but i haven't completed this uh, module number two still it is in uh, development so now i need to test with one and three modules so but if i want to test this one and three we need module number two but uh, this module is not yet ready so what we can do is we can just write a simple uh, temporary program which will assist uh, as a temporary program so through which we can test these two modules so step in the sense module will call the step so that means this module will call this uh, uh, step here we can call this as a step and here the same thing will call this module so here in the same context we call we call this as a driver so the technology is different the functionality is almost same okay so module will call the stub and driver will invoke the module. So that's the difference between stub and driver. So in the bottom up and top down, in the both approaches, we use stub and drivers as a temporary program. Okay, let us see how it will be. Uh, in the bottom up approach, let's say these are multiple modules, module one, two, three, four, five, six, and all. In the this is a bottom up approach. First we will test the sub modules and then we will test the uh, main modules. This is about the bottom up. Approach. In this approach, uh, there are some advantages and there are some disadvantages. So it is uh, the main advantage is fault localization is easier and no time is wasted uh, waiting for all the modules to be developed. So we no need to wait for all the modules to complete. As soon as our module is ready, we can start doing a bottom up integration testing.
So disadvantage is uh, some critical modules which control the flow of application or tested last and uh, may be prone to defect. So that may be causing uh, defects in uh, future because the critical modules are not yet developed here. Suppose let us say main module is a critical module. It is not yet developed. First we have tested all these things. It is start, It is completed at the end. So if you test this at the end uh, in the last cycle, there may be some issues uh, will be uh, logging into in future. Okay, so early prototype is not possible here. So early prototype in the sense, we need to test from the bottom, right? So until unless we complete everything, we cannot get any prototype here. So that is a, these are the advantages and disadvantages in bottom up integration. So the testing will happen from the sub modules to main module. And similar way, we have uh, another uh, methodology like top down approach. So if you see this top down approach, so the testing will start from the main module to sub module top to bottom so first we'll test main modules and then we'll test sub module so here the advantage is fault localization is easier just like a bottom-up approach but here possibly to obtain any early prototype here we have chance to get an early prototype and critical modules are tested on priority and major design flaws could be found and fixed first that is there comes under the advantages and when you come to the disadvantages it's need many steps it needs many steps because sub modules are not yet implemented, the main modules are ready. If you want to test them, we require the steps. So modules at lower level are tested inadequately. So that means we'll start from the top, like uh, module one, module two, module three, and now, right? So at the end, once we reach this end, modules at the lowest level are this one, four, five, six are tested inadequately. We don't have any etiquette methodology here. We can test them. So these are all few advantages and uh, disadvantages in a top down approach. Now let us see uh, what is the integration testing approach. Integration testing procedure. So the integration test uh, procedure irrespective of the test strategies. Like uh, here we have a few points like uh, we need to prepare uh, the integration test plans and uh, so let me just show you something here. So testing procedure. So the integration test procedure uh, irrespective of the test strategies we already discussed uh, in the previous slide. right? So we need to prepare uh, here, prepare the integration test plan. That's the first point. We need to prepare integration test plan as part of testing procedure. And then we need to design the test scenarios, test cases, and test script. And here test scripts in the sense of programs and executing the test cases followed by the rep uh, reporting the defects and tracking and retesting the defects. And again, we need to follow this step three, this one, uh, this one executing the test cases and also this one tracking retesting of the decay will continue the till all the defects have been fixed okay these two uh, steps will be repeated multiple times this is a procedure like we can say one two three four five first we need to have test plan integration test plan then we need to have test scenarios test cases and scripts and then we will execute those test cases and followed by reporting the defects and once the defects are fixed we will again retesting them Okay, and now let us see how the integration te test plan will be. So normally integration test plan includes, uh, these are the properties like uh, methods and approach, like top down approach or bottom approach or what is approach we are going to follow that we need to part of uh, test plan and uh, scopes and out of scopes items uh, of integration testing should be part of the test plan and roles and responsibilities and prerequisites for integration testing and testing environment and risk and mitigation plans. Suppose if there is any risk, so what is the alternative for that? So that will be described as part of mitigation plans. So these are all about uh, integration test plan. So normally integration testing mainly focusing on communicating with the modules as I said before and integration testing is normally done by the developers and they will use top down approach and bottom up approach by following this approach, they will make use of stubs and driver. Stubs and drivers. They are temporary programs which will assist if any sub module is not yet implemented. So instead of that module, we can go and use stubs and drivers. This is a white box testing techniques. Okay, so that's all for this video. Oh, thanks uh, all uh, for watching this video. So please subscribe my uh, channel to update to get updates on more videos. So thank you all.